and welcome back. In this video, I wanted to show you how to create custom certificates and awards that you can use in Google Forms. They have them in Google Forms, but we're going to go ahead and kick it up a notch. Let's get started. So you want to go ahead and open a Google slide from a template. This is going to be the easiest way to create a certificate, but I'll also show you how to make them custom. So if you scroll down to the education section, you're going to find a student certificate. And we can start here and edit this one. First thing I want to do, I'm going to change the globe and I'm going to insert a star. Click on the one I like, press enter, shrink it down to size, I'm going to double click on it and crop out some of that empty space around it. Click off to the side, now I can just resize it. And I'm going to look for those red lines that will show me it's in the center of my page. Perfect. And I don't want it to say fifth grade. I'm going to just say congratulations, star of the week. This, where you want them to insert the student name, you have to remember what it's going to say on your Google form or create your Google form first and then come back here. Put two brackets on my Google form. It says full name. That is the question. And then I'm going to end with two of the curvy brackets. This is good. Down here where it says, I'm going to delete school name and just put my name. And then for the date, you want to do the same thing. If you put the two curly brackets, the word date and it and certify them will automatically put whatever the current date is in that spot. If you want to add more elements that you're going to ask on the Google form, you may do that as well. If this is for being successful on a test or a quiz, you may want to do something different. So that's how you can use this one, plain, basic, simple certificate in certify them. If you want to create a more custom look, you can just get a blank presentation and erase all this. And I want to change the background like this one right here. I'm going to insert a shape in the middle just to help my words stand out a little bit. And I don't like the solid color, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit, make it a little see through. But just the transparency, just a little bit, maybe to here. Looks good. I'm going to remove the border, make it transparent. I'm going to insert some word art. And get it centered on my rectangle here. Change the font. Just adjusting the size. And I'm going to insert, insert a text box. And I'm going to put those two curly brackets. Full name is what I want to insert here. I want to increase the font. Make sure you highlight it, then increase the font. And certify them will pull this from the form that the students complete. 
because I want certify them to pull the percentage that the student gets, I'm going to put those wiggly brackets, type in the word percent, and then I'm going to have them pull the date. So let's head on over to a Google form and let's try this out. So notice it automatically puts, so let's change that to match because that's what they're going to put on the certificate. Notice it automatically pushed in there that an email address is required. They do need that in order to send out the certificates. So I'm going to change this to zero percent. I forgot to turn it on. Let's turn it on. And now I want to use a custom template. So use a custom template. So notice it changed the name. Check your advanced settings. And delete that. Go ahead and enter your name, subject of email, and then any message you want to include. Save changes. So the first thing we want to make sure we gather from the students is their full name. So the first question we want on here is full name and you want to spell it exactly the same as you have it on your certificate. No points are going to be added to that. The next question we need the students, I believe, to complete. Oh no, we didn't ask them to complete anything else. If you had other things like what period they were from or things like that, you could add that on your certificate and just put those wiggly brackets around it and make that one of your questions in your practice problem. So the only other thing that's going to be pulled out is the percent and the date. Certify them will automatically do that. So let's create a quick little quiz. Don't forget to add your answer key and your points. And I like to make it re so that students don't accidentally skip. This is the sample question they actually put in as well. I'm going to change their question. I'm going to remove this extra one here. So make sure we do their answer key. There's one point associated with that. Click done. And I'm going to make it required. Just remembered one thing before you send out the link for your students you want to make sure that it sends their certificate immediately that way it'll send out the certificate right away so once you've made sure that it is going to send out the response right away go ahead copy that link go ahead and send it out through email or you can post it in your learning management system Your students will then enter their email address. Their full name. Then they'll answer the questions. And remember, we set this up so that everybody gets a certificate and it'll tell them the percentage and the date. Students will immediately get a certificate in their inbox. This was the answer that I put for name. Notice it pulled the percentage. I got 50% and this happened on March 20th, 2021.
I did notice one thing that I forgot to edit this. You probably want to edit this. If you want to add any directions, anything extra right there. It says before sharing this or just delete it. And that's how you create custom awards and certificates of achievement using Google Forms. They're automatically generated, saves a ton of time. If you need help with creating a Google Form, check out these two videos, one for creating quizzes and another one on how I use Google Forms to take attendance. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.